Hi everyone, welcome back to Diddy's Kitchen. Today I want to show you how I make my native jollof rice. I'm going to start by adding some palm oil into my pan. I'm just going to let that heat up for about a minute or so. Next I'm going to add in about half a cup of locust beans, also known as iru. I'm going to let that fry for about a minute just to infuse that um, flavor into the palm oil. Then I'm going to add in my pepper blend, which basically has scotch bonnet peppers and bell pepper. Again, you can adjust this accordingly, depends on how spicy you want your food to be. I used about four scotch bonnet peppers and about three or four big um, bell peppers for this. Then I'm going to add in my diced onions. I had some diced onion um, saved in the freezer, so I just took out a bag, defrosted it, drained it, and I'm using it for this recipe. Just mix that all together, mix in the pepper mix, um, the onions and also the iru, just mix it together for about a minute. I'm going to add some salt and seasoning, again it's your food so you can season to your taste. Mix it all in together, fry that for about another 30 seconds to a minute just to make sure that it's all mixed together. Then I'm going to cover the pot and allow the pepper to fry for about two to three minutes. Um, I'm using a non-stick pan, so it's really good. Make sure it doesn't, you know, burn. So just check at intervals. Next, I'm adding in some smoked mackerel. If you don't like mackerel, you can use any other sort of fish you want. I'm also adding in some snail. You can use beef, chicken, basically whatever you've got in your freezer, you can toss it in. Um, it's your food, you can make it whichever way you want to. I'm just going to allow all that to fry for about five minutes. Then I'm adding in some grounded um, crayfish as well. Mix it all in together. Next, I'm going to add in my washed rice. For this recipe, I used um, two cups of rice. So again, the quantity depends on how many people you're cooking for and how much food you want to make. You can adjust that accordingly. So I'm going to mix that together, add enough water to cover the rice or enough water to cook my rice. And then I'm going to reduce my, um, my um, cooker to medium and then I'm going to allow that to cook for about 10 minutes. Just checking at intervals to make sure it's not burning. And then once the rice is starting to get soft, I'm going to add in some chopped ugui. Next, I'm going to mix the ugu in properly into the rice and then I'm going to cover the rice with foil and allow the rice to steam on medium for about 5 minutes. Ta-da! The native jollof is ready and you can enjoy it with a nice cup of cold drink. Just wanted to quickly remind you, the length of time it takes for your rice to cook depends on the type of rice you're using. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel for some more so good meals. Bye bye!